Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shreeja Banerjee and um, I recently posted a video about how you can start your NEET PG prep or next preparation so, uh, if you're a first year MBBS student and something that was um, requested by a lot of you is how to prepare as an intern. So I'm going to tell you how I prepared in my internship and this is going to come in parts. So this is part one and here we go. Uh, so the second thing that I was talking about is the schedule. Now, always remember that the key, the key to your successful preparation is a realistic schedule. When I mean a realistic schedule, it is that your schedule should match your workload. So, like you can see here, I've uh, shared my plan, the first, the plan for my first three. You can see that I started my posting with general surgery. And um, going into general surgery, I had no idea the kind of food I was going to have. Is it going to be com comparatively like a lighter posting or like as I said from private college, you don't have that kind of a workload that you have in any other government institutes. Yet I was not aware of the kind of things I had to do because there were just two of us in one unit, two interns in one unit. So yeah, so the only way that I could go about it is divide my time based on my units and the workload in those units so like as you can see i specifically mentioned surgery department and then i've divided my time now i wanted to start with anatomy in my surgery um, during my surgery posting so here what i did was anatomy since it was my nightmare i basically knew nothing is what i believe i had to give it some more time so that is when I divided my time based on the number of pages that I had to read. Now, before that I had to make those notes. Now for the resources I am going to make a separate video but this is the plan once you have your notes in front of you. Most of you are going to follow the notes that you have of that particular platform. So I can just go about it. What I wanted to say is that if you have, like you can see here I have written 2 to 6, I don't know your anatomy here in yet. 7 to 9, these are the dates. So that might vary for me, for you, because you might have 10 pages to revise, I might have 5 pages to revise and vice versa. So that is how I divided my time. Then, secondly, always, always keep in mind that your best shot at finishing a long subject are the lighter postings. So after general surgery, I had ENT. I knew that I had a lot of time in my hands to finish a long subject and that was a subject which is going to be extremely highly done and consists of a lot of facts rather than uh, concepts. So here I chose to do pharma. Now pharma was a second nightmare of mine. So I put in almost 12 days here for pharmacology. Now when it came to emergency medicine, I knew that I wouldn't have that much of time to you know focus on a very crucial subject. Then I also have to keep in mind that I should be doing a subject that I'm comparatively com comfortable in. Okay. So for me, that subject was micro. In second year, I had my base pretty strong, uh, strong compared to the uh, first year uh, subjects. So I thought, why not give it a good seven to eight days? Now here's the thing. I had to watch rapid revision videos for pathology and microbiology and when I started my duty I realized that no I have to switch my schedule. So that with that I come to one of the most important points in making your schedule which is you have to be extremely flexible. The moment you are flexible you have this optimism in you that okay, this is the person that I have, this is what I imagine, I cannot do it so let me just switch. Because rather than dragging that one subject for 20 to 25 days, something that you will probably be able to finish if you get like a good 12 days, why not leave it, switch to another subject that will take less of your mind strength, less of your stress and less of your co uh, concentration, maybe a short subject or something and do it and finish it. So that is extremely crucial. Um, another teeny tiny thing that um, I believe you should do is always make a list of subjects that you have to do. Okay, so yes, there are 19 subjects, but this has happened with me. Believe me when I say that in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm just 
just left with like two to three subjects and then I'll be done. And then I realized that oh no, I am left with drama, I am left with psyche. So don't ever plan things in your head. Always have everything right in front of you. It can be your whiteboard, it can be your iPad, your pen and paper, anything. But make a list of the yours and the subjects that you have to do. Whenever you are done with a particular subject, tick it off. That is also good for you, so you do not miss a subject and also for your own self-esteem that yes, I am done with this particular subject. Now, coming to what you should do in your duty hours. This is very, very important. Okay, so there is no continuity in this video. Uh, please don't mind different outfits, different uh, time of the day. But okay, so the second thing would be MCQs. Now, I know you should start your MCQs since day one, but uh, if you're an Anki user like me, I did not solve M uh, MCQs since day one. Okay, uh, mostly because Anki took Anki and notes took up a lot of my time. Okay, so it was really unrealistic of me to do all three. Ki FOMO ho hai, ye bhi karna hai, wo bhi karna hai. Right. Now, see, if you're someone who is able to manage um, Anki flashcards and MCQs and your notes or whatever, that's great. There's nothing like it. But this is what I did and hopefully you'll find it helpful. Before getting out of bed, I my goal was to bring down my reviews to 500. Okay? No matter if it's 700 or 800 reviews, so I have to bring it down to 500 so that the rest of the day I know ki I just have to do 500 reviews and 100 new cards okay so I did that now um, the rest of the day how I finished my Anki was that whenever I'm reading my notes I had alarms okay one hour alarms initially I used to have 30 minutes ka alarm okay, ki 30 minutes ka notes pa and then I did my um, 100 reviews fine but it got a little like hectic so I what I did was I increased the time period of reading my notes. So this is how it was. One hour of note reading and 100 reviews. One hour of note reading and 100 reviews like that. The moment I was done with all of my reviews, I switched to doing 100 new cards. Now, when it came to 100 new cards, actually this, this section should be called anti, honestly. So uh, by doing 100 new cards, what I did was, it gets very monotonous, right? That you're doing 100 new cards from one subject. Fine. So what I used to do was I chose four subjects, random four subjects, and I did 25 cards each. Okay. And generally those four subjects were did not exclude the subject I was reading at that point. Because then the mark may I have na ki chalo, I'm reading five different subjects at once. I'm revising things uh, randomly. So that was a boost somehow. So that. And once I was done with all of my new cards, na, so I followed the I and key decks. When I followed Nikki deck, what I did was ki I was also doing some of the like cards that my friend made and then I made my own card. So once that entire deck was done, that is when I switched to MCQs. Ki, thik, abhi chalo, new cards ka stress to hai nahi. All I have to do is reviews and I have to solve MCQs. Right. So what exactly did I do when it came to MCQs? So let me tell you, my peak MCQ was the last uh, 45 days of my preparation, okay? And I, 45 to 50 days, I think. And I suggest that you start earlier if you're not doing Anki. If you're not doing Anki, you start since day one. What do you mean by day one? Day one is do 50 questions in your custom. I was a Maru user, so Maru may you have custom modules, right? So before you get out of your bed, do 50 questions. What tag do you use? Use no tags like everything is going to be there don't select anything fine that is that is something that prepares you for unknown questions okay that is something which prepares you for the things that you're never going to read from your notes probably right secondly second um, time you do mcqs is when you take a nap in the afternoon fine if you're someone who takes a nap in the afternoon great before you get out of bed after your nap that is when you do 50 more questions Okay, this is when you do PYQs. According to me, this is the best way to finish 100 MCQs. So in those PYQs, much of the tags are going to be hashtag recent need and hashtag aims. Okay, so that is why you're covering, imagine doing 50 PYQs every day. At one point, there'll be repetition only. Okay, there'll be repetition, second, your confidence will just boom like anything. So that is uh, how you can do MCQs.